The idea of purple knighthood started in the Kingdom of Portugal in 1319 with the awarding of the Order of Christ given by Pope John XXII, which is currently the Supreme Order, followed by the Order of Golden Spa, which is the second highest purple order that lacks a clear historical evidence of its founding. In the early 19th century, Pope Pius IX added the third highest order of Pius IX, which is currently the highest purple order awarded by modern popes. Thereafter, Pope Gregory XVI founded the fourth purple order dubbed the Order of Saint Gregory the Great and also established the fifth order of Saint Sylvester to which majority Ugandan purple knights belong. We are permitted after our names, Joseph the Ritual of Akoma, KSS. Knight of Saint Sylvester. These knighthoods are given by the Pope based on recommendations from diocesan bishops or nuncios for outstanding services rendered to the Catholic Church. Much as majority are men, women too exist as the Pope's guards. Among the six, there is a lady. A lady is not known as Pope Knight. It's known as then, D -A -M -E. Their unique dress code, however, distinguishes them from other faithfuls around the Pope. But during the Pope's absence in the different countries, Papal Knights only wear these uniforms on special occasions which the Bishop, who represents the Pope in different countries, is to attend. These uniforms are uniquely made for specific individuals and are not transferable. When you go, your God calls you to join him, when they are burying you, they have to bury you in this uniform. It is not transferable to anyone else. So are these uniforms made in Rome and transported to Uganda for the Ugandan Papal Knights? In our next episode, we bring you the big surprise of the source of the Papo Knight uniforms used in Uganda. <laughs>